this type of hand is definitely okay. We're playing against what's he and there. So what's up, what's he? So burning wish, it's storm. Is he killing me now? It would be unfair. So how much mana does he get? Six. So if he has uh, like a dark ritual, he can go. He could go empty the warrants if he has infernal tutor. If I'm correct. So it was kind of all in. How much does he get? Ten. Where's my force of will now? So he has 10 tokens. So I need to put Grizzlebrand next turn, I guess. How do we achieve that? You get a show and tell and land. Or we get a petal. I think show and tell and land is best way how to get it, so ponder, it's not show and tell and plus land, so I shuffle. And I don't want to reveal the petals now, because uh, I don't want to let him give him the, all the info. If I put Grizzle Brand, it should be enough. I got a crystal, so only I need is show and tell. And here we go, baby. <laughs> So yeah, we handle the empty for 10, turn 1, hopefully. One echoing through later. What? So now if he plays 10 drills, I survive at 1. Can he do something else? Like lightning bolt, he hopefully doesn't run. Okay. What is it? Grape shot? Grape shop shouldn't be played. Oh, here has the grape shot. Oh my god, that's funny. Funny game, funny game! <laughs> Is he going out? That's so brave. Okay. I give you a duress to support and still have a kill. It's probably a very, very solid decision.
Maybe I shouldn't have Cyber Fool for Pyroblasts, but maybe, maybe it's still fine. Uh, I didn't like the full uh, Heart Mulligan for First of All post board because he has a lot of Disrupt, so Mulliganing hurt is hurting you more, and and uh, it's not that like he will kill you turn turn one, so and the matchup will be a little bit more grindy, so empty again, sure. So how much is it? Ten again. Now we need to find Grizzle Brand, and we will stabilize. Okay. I don't feel he has that many blue cards, so maybe I should not put all uh, Pyro Blast or Red Elemental Blast. But maybe they are still fine. Maybe Emrakul plus Sneak Attack are still kind of weak, and ca catching the Ponder could be worth it. Yeah, Sneak Attack is a little bit expensive, I feel. What a hand is this? I think if I would have a uh, Grizzle Brand, I would keep it instead of Emrakul. But like uh, the first, what can happen is that he duress the Show and Tell, and then my hand is complete rubbish. And even if he goes for ten goblins, I put uh, Emrakul. Be at eighteen, he just attacks. Put me at well, maybe ten goblins I can beat. But losing to Duress is simply scary. And can I beat like 12 goblins? I will be at 18. I okay, put show and tell, he attacks for 11. So I'm at 6, 7. And then I die. Yeah, I, f I don't think this. This hand is good enough. So we both are mulliganing. Now I'm without the Coral Plant, so... Now I think I should keep. Like, mulligan to forest, basically, giving up. Like, now I would be much happy, happier if I would have the first hand, obviously. And kind of go all in, but... Yeah, what can you do? Sometimes it, like this is uh, what I a little bit dislike about MTG is the land aspect. Uh, that some games you just lose on its own. Hard to tell because like uh, build like it's so so challenging in terms of deck building the lands, but in terms of you know uh, fun, some games are just not played. And this is a little bit sad. So now, Island and Show and Tell. Hmm. Uh, 007 is asking, have you tried MTG Arena? I did a little bit, but I have to say I like regular magic much, much more. It's kind of the simplified version of magic, like for these of you who didn't try it. It's a lot of fun, but I think I I just think the the normal magic is so so much better. Like, <laughs> despite I don't appreciate the games like this, but but yeah, I, I can still win though. Like that's the, that's the funny part. Like I can I can draw an island, play the brainstorm, play show and tell, and it's kind of GG. It was a little bit risky. If I would have the Force of Will, I could counter the Infernal and he would be super, super all in. But now I think it's kind of over. So now I need to draw an island into Lotus Petal. Show and tell, otherwise I've lost. That's the reason why I've played the City of Traitors. Mm, 
RNG. Cross my fingers. He doesn't have an answer. I'll show you the trick. That's very important to know. Now we can attack either with Emrakul or Grizzlebrand. He needs to sacrifice six. So he puts two of these, two planes, this. Sacrificing Wasteland is kind of... Like he can bounce the Grizzle Brand in mid attack though. That's also something he can do. But we can also block with the Grizzle Brand uh, if we have it with sneak attack. So he probably should keep Veil on too. And if he get a revo Revoker to be able to name sneak attack. But yeah, the Caracas wouldn't be a win for him anyway, because you can just put Emrakul and if he bounces it, just put it again with the sneak attack, so... I don't think it's worth to keep Talia up. Like, he could have added Talia in hand. That's why new sacrifice, but otherwise he should keep it, I guess. But the, the very important part we made in this game, our decision was that we didn't fetch any volcanic island and play around the wasteland by keeping all the fetches on the board. It was really, really important. This is a big decision to him for what to sacrifice. Now I think I could consider drawing seven. If there's an Emraku I won, I can play the Ponderous Preordains. And otherwise, like, if he doesn't have a minion, it's not a big deal anyway. Yeah, I think I should go for the win, because otherwise he could add more minions and I would be in big troubles. So there's an Emraku. Make sure you don't miss the 25th anniversary of Ma Magic. It's gonna be an amazing event, and if you have time, go to go to Minnesota and be there because it's gonna be the best Magic event ever.